in this video, we're going to talk about something called a current balance. Now, this is actually a very simple concept. Uh, a current balance is simply something like a seesaw. And so what's going to happen is you're going to try to keep this seesaw balanced. And so on one side, you have a weight. And clearly, you know that this weight is going to cause this to rotate in this uh, anti-clockwise direction. And all you're trying to do now is to balance this moment with a magnetic force on the other side. And of course, if these two moments are equal, then the current balance will balance. And so what do we, so how do we look at this, right? Let's have a look at this 3D drawing. And so on one side, I hang a mass M over here. And of course the pivot you can see is on this line over there. And so we can say that the moment created by this mass over here is simply its weight Mg multiplied by its perpendicular distance to the pivot, so mgx. How are we balancing this? So first of all, I have to pass some sort of a current through this uh, balance. Okay, So typically, we use a rectangular coil, conducting coil like so. And we can easily pass a current through it by attaching some sort of a battery, an ideal weightless battery somewhere, maybe here, doesn't matter. And so what we do, we then create a magnetic field in this region. And we can use that using, uh, you know, a bar, a horseshoe magnet or something of that sort. And if we allow the magnetic field to go in this direction over here, a simple use of the Fleming's left-hand rule, okay, with your second finger pointing to the left and your current pointing out of the screen, okay, because of 3D drawing, will show that you have a magnetic force Fd pointing downwards, which could potentially provide a counter moment to Mgx. And so we simply equate Mgx now to the moment created by Fd, and that, of course, will be Bil, okay, Bil, multiplied by the perpendicular distance, the pivot, Bil, y. And so if the current balance remains horizontal, then this must be true. 